Hi there, in this video we're going to be running through getting TSGUI set up so that it can be run from Software Center or otherwise out, uh, run from outside of WinPE. Um, now for those of you who are already familiar with Service UI um, that is used in MDT, essentially we're just going to be using that. Um, so if you're already familiar with it, you can just use that as you normally would to run the TSGUI, TSGUI executable um, and it will behave uh, as per normal. Uh, for those of you who haven't used it before, or for those of you who want to see how I set this up, um, please keep watching. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the 20road.com website, and at the bottom of the downloads page or the TSGUI downloads page, there is the service UI template.zip. Uh, so just grab a copy of that. Um, and I've already downloaded a copy here. And we're just going to extract a copy of that. Now what this gives you is a folder structure um, and an install script um, or a, a wrapper script um, from which to run this. So you've got two folders and the script here. So if we take these pieces and we're going to add them to our normal TSGUI folder, like so. Uh, we'll come back to the install script in a minute. Um, now you'll see that the AMD64 and x86 folders are empty. Um, that is where we are going to get the service UI executable um, from MDT. Now you don't need to install MDT on your Config Manager server, or you don't need to set up the Config Manager integration. You just need an install of it somewhere um, so that you can grab the executables out. Um, so in my case, I happen to have it installed on the server. So you want to go to your MDT installation folder, and you want to navigate to Templates, Distribution, Tools. And you'll see here we have an x64 and an x86 folder. So let's just grab another File Explorer window up. So we can copy these in. So from the x64 folder, we want to grab a copy of serviceui.exe and put it there and same thing from the x86 folder. Now in case you're wondering why I'm using the terminology AMD64 rather than x64, uh, that is because we're going to be using, uh, well the script uses an environment variable called processor architecture and if you run set from command line you can see all the environment variables that are listed and you can see processor architecture is actually AMD 64 not x64 so just using the correct terminology there or the correct naming standard there and if we have a look at our wrapper script. You can see here that we've got this variable here which effectively uh, locates the location of the script and where it's running from and creates and sets it to the file call path variable and then we're using this um, processor archi architecture uh, variable to complete the path to service UI. And that's going to auto-complete to either 64-bit or 32-bit, um, depending on what architecture you happen to be running on. So in this way, the script and the wrapper is much more flexible, and you can just deploy it to either architecture, and it should just run. Now, the, the next thing I wanted to touch on is this piece here. Now for those of you who um, haven't come across Service UI before, essentially the issue that we have with getting TSGUI to run from the software center is that the Config Manager agent is running under the local system account. Now when you are running under one user account, you can't just 
fire up a GUI in, in another user's session. Um, or by default you can't anyway. So Service UI helps us get around that. Um, the way it does that, it, is it actually looks for a process um, that it can identify the session that it should start up in. And that's what this piece is doing here. It's actually looking for the tsprogressui.exe process, which is actually the progress bar that pops up when the task sequence runs. If you deploy your task sequence without the option that basically says show progress, and if we go to our deployment and see if we can see it here. So if you untick this box or you don't have this box ticked, this that box box ticked, you're going to need to change this piece to a process that's going to be running in the user's session, whether that's explorer.exe um, or something along those lines. Um, you're going to need to basically find a process that's going to work for you. My recommendation is just leave that ticked. Generally speaking, especially for um, operating system deployment, it's not a problem. And then the last piece is just the .exe um, for TSGUI. So in theory, that's now set up and ready to run. Now what we need to do is come into our task sequence. And before, where we would have had tsgui.exe, now we're going to set it to our batch script. And click OK. So that should now be ready to run. So if we come into a test box, let's open this up. Okay, so here we are inside our test machine. And let's fire up Software Center and see what we can see. Go to operating systems, here's our task sequence. And let's rerun that. And here's TSGUI running from Software Center. Run it all like normal, and away we go. So that's basically it. Um, fairly straightforward, and obviously you can use um, Service UI for things other than TSGUI if you need them to inside your task sequences. It is not a specific TSGUI thing or setup, and you can potentially use that same structure, um, folder structure, and um, launch a script to run service UI from other components if you want it to. Um, so yeah, that's it on getting TSGUI running from the Software Center. Thanks very much.